Hey, Pastor Steve Waldron, I hope you're having a great day in Jesus. New Life Pentecostal Church, Albany, Georgia. Ollie's Hall. We don't have an Ollie's here in Albany, but we were in Tifton. Sister Waldron wanted to go there and shop for her birthday, so we went to Ollie's. So I picked up a few things that I'll eventually, God willing, do reviews on many of these, if not all of these. But I'll just show you what I got. Now this one is 1999, the Illustrated Bible by Scandinavia, complete King James Version. I always like to do children's Bibles in King James. This one's still wrapped. I looked at it, you know, they had one open. And so I looked at it, and, and I was really kind of impressed with it. I mean, it's gold edging and stuff. Nineteen ninety nine, more than I would normally pay. But uh, there it is. So that's the first thing we got from Ollie's. What's the next thing we got? Oh, for six ninety nine, God's Amazing Plan Bible. God's Amazing Plan. This was six ninety nine. It's perfect for tweens ages 8 to 12. This is also Scandinavia Publishing, which I was not acquainted with Scandinavia Publishing at all. So, uh, but again, I looked through it, you know, while Sister Waldron was shopping, and I thought, you know, that's, that's pretty good, pretty good price. I felt like I overpaid for the other deal, but this one is nice. Um... You know, got all kinds of stuff in it. Feels good. The spine is not breaking. No pages are falling out. You know, like when I do this, it's 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 quality. You can tell. So, and uh, I looked at. I think they are printed in Scandinavia, as a matter of fact, or something, if I remember correctly. What else did we get from Ollie? Yes, the Common English Bible which I've done like the Common English Bible Study Bible Review and then compared it with the Premier Study Bible. The reason I got this is because it has the Apocrypha. And I wanted to do some comparisons of the Apocrypha in various translations. And so this was hardback, like a pew Bible. It was only $5.99. So in Bible comparisons, I think I've done a one or two Bible comparisons with this in the King James as well. In our comparison section on our YouTube channel, you know, we have like a comparison. What do they call that? Uh, little playlist. That's what they call it. So just got that. Man, and it's really, I mean, it's extremely well done. Let's see if it lays flat in Genesis. May have to do a review on this. No, it doesn't quite. But it, you can tell it's a great size. So there's that. What else did we get from Ollie's? Five ninety nine. You can tell I'm a bargain shopper. Nine ninety nine. Now the reason I got this is because it's a modern English version. A lot of you guys are highly interested in the modern English version uh, because it is Textus Receptus. And so, didn't like Charisma House do that? Yeah, Passio Publishing, which is basically uh, Charisma House, done a review. One of the most watched views, it's in the top 50 on our YouTube channel and continues. It's an evergreen, continues to get views, is on the modern English version. So I've done some comparison videos with this in the King James as well. So eventually we'll probably do a, uh, a video on this Bible. But look at this, I mean, it's extreme for $9.99. If you don't have an Ollie's, get you an Ollie's. I'm doing this, let's see, it's March 6th. March 6th, and coronavirus is all the talk. The stock market's collapsed, including Ollie's stock. The founder of Ollie's died unexpectedly in December. And so I'm hoping Ollie's will keep going on. They say it's one of the cleanest companies in America, though, as far as its balance sheet. It has no debt, which is pretty amazing. Way to do business. Let's see what else we've got. So that was the MEV. The Ragamuffin. Now, I overpaid for this. And it's just because I'm a Rich Mullins fan. <laughs> you know... If I live, let me live for the problem. I mean, I'm just, Rich Mellon was one of my favorites. So here we are with the Ragamuffin Bible, NIV. 
I know Brenton Manning's a little bit of a social gospel guy, like Walter Rauschenbach and all this. But I was like, okay. I've, like I said, I've just got a, you know, I went and saw Rich Mullins in concert. And I've just got a soft spot. What can I say about this? So I'll probably be doing a review on that too. Let's see here. What else do we have? We have the Pathlight, the NIRV Pathlight Bible, a camper's Bible, the NIRV. I just did a video, we just had it drop, on a comparison of the NIRV and the KJV. A lot of you were shocked that there was an NIRV because they've quit doing the 1984 NIV unless they just start doing it. They're now, it's the 2011 NIV, then they had the TNIV, and then the NIRV. And people are like, well, what is the deal? What's all this? So, you know, just do this. A lot of different reasons for this. Probably do a, again, a review on that. A lot of times too, like YouTube's always interested. They're like, well, when you do a, uh, a review let's say it's a children's bible they've got a section oh, is this video for children no it's not the children aren't going to be buying the bible it's for the parents to know what the children what if they want to buy it or if the grandparents give them something or if the sunday school gives them something something like that or sunday school teachers to read or parent you know what i'm saying parents to read and so yeah the videos are not for children even as children's bible i've done a review of this in the new king james it's actually an excellent little study bible and when i saw it in king james i was like okay i need to get that and of course i bought the cheapest edition possible uh, 11.99 they had it in hardback for 13.99 but two dollars is two dollars waste not what not God willing, we'll be doing a review on this in the near future. What else did we get from uh, Ollie's? The books of the New Testament, Lectio Divina for the family with the support of the Pontificum Concilium Pro Familia. So values for a virtuous family. I was looking through this and it was like really good. I forget how much it was. Maybe, I don't know how much it was. I want to say, is there a price on the front? Let's see. Two, I was going to say, I think it's $2.99. Or $2.99. $2 and uh, it's just got all kinds of stuff. Invitation to the New Testament. Word about the, the New Testament. So for $2.99, I thought, and so obviously it's Catholic. Um, I do a lot of things for Catholics, you know. I love Catholic people. I would disagree with their doctrine, but uh, Catholic people, we've got a joke in the Pentecostal community that Catholics make wonderful Pentecostals, you know. I had a friend of mine, he was in a Catholic area, and he couldn't get somebody to come to church. And they said, well, are you Catholic? He's like, yeah. He said, but I'm Jerusalem Catholic. He said, Peter's the first pope, right? Yeah. He said, well, he said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ, for remission of sins, and you shall receive the Holy Ghost. He's speaking ex cathedra, can't disobey him. He said, so I'm not Roman Catholic, I'm Jerusalem Catholic. You know, Peter, <laughs> so the guy, well, okay. So, here we go. 1499, Joni Erickson Tata, Beyond Suffering Bible. This is a great, this is like the... Uh, you know, the old question of where is God when it hurts and if there's a good God, how can he allow suffering? I forget what that's called now. I've taught it for years and I'm 54 and doing so many different things. I just can't remember the way I used to. But the problem of evil, problem of suffering. So, I mean, that's a good, that's an NLT. And see, they're coming out. Look at what this, for $14.99, look at this. I mean, this is amazing. The, it's, le the imitation leathers of today are far superior to imitation leathers of yesteryear. Mm, the pink ribbon marker. So I'll probably be doing a review on this. This is just good. Oh, man. In that color is one of my favorite colors. But the notes in it. And of course, Johnny Erickson Todd is just an amazing person. 
and what else do we I, I bought some things I'm going to be giving away to different staff members such as David Limbaugh Rush Limbaugh's brother has been writing some incredible apologetic material on the divinity of Jesus Christ and so this is amazing it's not 1699 I think this was probably a uh, New York Times bestseller. It was New York Times bestselling author, uncovering the divinity of Christ in the Gospels. Three ninety nine. Look at that. So for a hardback book, hope a lot of the staff does not watch this, so I can just remove the tags and give it to them. All right. So there's that, and then. This, based on the New York Times number one bestselling Killing of Jesus, a special illustrated edition of the number one, The Last Days of Jesus' Life and Times. So, you know, this uh, killing Patton, killing Lincoln, all these type things. Um, here we have Killing of Jesus. Again, this was $3.99. Now, I had a friend of mine that's read this. I have not read it. And he said it, it just one part. He said it's an unbelievable read, phenomenal. But one part gets a little too Catholic for him, you know. And we're not Catholic. We're Pentecostals. And, uh, but he said it's an amazing book. He would highly recommend it. So when I saw him for $3.99, I'm thinking, gifts. I want to show appreciation. Amen. We're all in it together for Jesus. So that is the Ollie's Book Hall from uh, March. March? No, from February 29th, Leap Day, 2020. God bless. Talk with you later in Jesus' name.